Hello everyone, Trophy Hunter here, and today I have a tutorial for a couple different people. First, I'm gonna address Jay Tesmer. Her question is, she wants to know how to upload to Bethesda.net through the creation kit, and how to add stuff to the looks menu for your characters when you make them. And I will show you how to do that. So first, you're gonna need the creation kit. Also, to create the textures themselves, you're probably going to want Photoshop and the Intel TextureWorks plugin, but I'm not going to get into that in this tutorial. So you're going to want to launch the Creation Kit. And once it loads, you want to go up to File, Data, and load up Fallout4.esm and hit OK. And this should take a minute or so. Alright, and once it's all loaded up, what you're going to want to do is find the character button, the character tab, open it up, and then go to race. And then choose human race. And in here is where you want to add your textures. Now I believe yours is called appealing moles. But first you also want to change the tab up here to female, or the, the tick box, tick female, and you had appealing moles, so go down to markings. And what I would do is just copy one of these and then use your textures replacing one of the other ones. What I mean by that is just copy it and then go back up to the markings category. It's black. And then choose paste. And then choose no. This will create a new entry where you can change the textures to yours. These three here. So what you want to do is, you can place your assets anywhere in the textures folder, and the game won't care. I prefer to just put them actually where they're supposed to go, which is textures, actors, character, character assets, face details, and then in there just put them. And then you select the three, your diffuse, normal, and specular. This is also all done in the tinting tab, I forgot to mention. So all the way over in the tint. So then just when you have your textures selected in here just choose OK and now up here you choose file log into Bethesda.net obviously you have to have your account up there and log in once you're logged in choose upload plugin and archive to Bethesda.net however before we do this you want to save your plugin just for references so you can call it whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it tutorial. And save. And then file, upload, plugin. Now usually you want to keep all of these files that the creation kit you're using. And since the race form ID here, editor ID, is getting replaced by your tutorial or whatever you name your ESP it's getting replaced by so you're gonna wanna make sure that you include all these textures in it pack files and now here's where you create a new mod so create new mod title call it tutorial description put whatever you want in there and choose the categories for my TH browse. I chose, I think, characters. I chose hair and face. Models and textures and also races. And in the future, we'll be able to choose the PS4 and Xbox One as platforms, but obviously not right now. So you just choose create. And it's uploading it to Bethesda.net right now. Once done, you can click this button here and it'll open a new tab. And here it is. Here's your mod. Now this is where you can edit it. It's not published yet, just like on the Nexus, where you can say edit your mod like my Walter P99 mod. I haven't 
published it yet. I really haven't done anything to this. I've just created a temporary, if you will, mod. So I, I kind of just locked in what mod number it is. That's really only, that's really all I've done. But eventually I'll get around to uploading all the pictures and doing a bunch of stuff there. And the same thing here is what you want to do. Just upload. There are three different spots for either images or videos. I recommend using two very illustrative pictures and one video. That seems like a good balance. And you can go uh, edit and see here. You can add a YouTube video if you want. You can add three if you want. And you can change your description here. Change or add categories. Here you can add your patch notes to blah, blah, blah. And of course, I'm gonna delete this, but once you're all done creating all your art and your description, I haven't been able to get any links to work in the description, unfortunately. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, no art. Like, I like to create my images in Photoshop and then upload them to Flickr. And then what I'll do is, in here, this picture. So, obviously on the, the Nexus, it has uh, BB code. So this is really nice. You can select BB code, and then you can change the size. Usually you want 800 by 300, but this isn't for the Nexus. So, I haven't been able to get any of these to work. But then I would I would put the picture here, and... You can see that it's right down here. But if you want to ever update your mod, it's basically the same process. You just load up your ESP that you saved, make changes to it, and then double click and you can update. But that's really all there is to it. I will say this to you. if Let's say you create your mod in the race, the human race thing here, add some stuff and save it, upload it. It won't be compatible with TH Browse. And if someone has it and they have my mod, I th I'm pretty sure the one that gets loaded, I think last is the one that the game uses. So just something to keep in mind. But I hope that answered all your questions, Jay Tesmer, and I hope you have a great day. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial video. I will be doing some weapon related things, so stay tuned for that, and have a great day.